Now we're going to talk about SD-WAN. That's the latest hype in the networking community. So what is SD-WAN? Well, let's start with the acronym. S stands for software. D stands for defined. And I think all of you probably know what WAN stands for, or Wide Area Network. So the idea be behind SD-WAN is to give providers like Cox and RapidScale and others the ability to actually push down changes to the edge devices or the routers that sit in your office, right? So let's draw an office building. You have a router there. Um, as opposed to routers, generally speaking, being configured individually and you know com complicated uh, when you have hundreds and hundreds and even tens of thousands of nodes, um, these devices have basically become dumb machines and they're controlled by a central uh, configuration engine inside the SD-WAN provider's uh, network. So what are the benefits of software-defined networking? Well, one of the major benefits is um, the ability to add resiliency and redundancy for a very inexpensive um, price, right? So what you started to see um, years ago to include resiliency and redundancy is you would have customers would buy multiple very expensive um, circuits like MPLS or, or Metro Ethernet into their buildings and they'd have complicated routing and switching infrastructures and nothing ever really failed over automatically. Well, these days you can actually go out and get, you know, call it a coax um, internet connection from you know, your cable provider. Um, you can get um, what's called DIA or dedicated internet access um, from a different provider um, or the same provider as long as it's two different types of connections. And you can plug those into the different ports on the SD-WAN box. And the SD-WAN box does all the magic of keeping the traffic passing over all the available links, does things like quality of service, which we mentioned in a prior, prior video. Um, where we can send voice packets out ahead of the, the bulk internet or the email or web browsing traffic. That therefore reduces latency, um, which we put a very high um, preference on understanding that you don't want latency in your network. Um, it also uh, gives you um, circuit uh, resiliency or redundancy, right? So. It gives us the ability to take multiple circuits and send all your traffic out those circuits. So if one fails, all the traffic will still go out the other one. End users never know any different and you, the network stays up and available. And it's really important when you move all your stuff to the cloud that you have a redundant and resilient network. Because when all your servers are sitting in the room behind you, that's less important. When you move them to the cloud, well, you want to have redundancy and resiliency so that you can access those things over the network. Um, the common deployments um, that you see out there um, are, are, are over the top, or OTT, which basically means you can go buy SD-WAN from anybody and bring your own you know, bandwidth, or BYOB, not to be confused with bring your own beers. So when you bring your own bandwidth, you're responsible for those connections. The over the top SD-WAN provider provides the appliances and manages those for you and you kind of have a future-proofed network. You can swap in and out carriers as prices come down or technology improves, um, and you kind of have the best of breed SD-WAN solution as well. Um, the other uh, deployment is buying it from your carrier, where the carrier provides um, the, the, what's called underlay, right, or the actual connectivity. So they provide that and they provide the SD-WAN, um, call it boxes, right? So they're providing the connectivity, they're providing the SD-WAN solution, and they're also monitoring, managing, and no proactively notifying you as a, uh, as a customer when there might be issues. Um, so that's at a very high level, SD-WAN, what it does, what it stands for, what it, why it's important, and why it's all the buzz, because it enables customers to buy lower price connectivity, um, take advantage of all the available connectivity options at a location, and then you know, prioritize traffic, add resiliency, redundancy, and flexibility to the overall network design.